my name is Ivo Sturton, author of The Night Climbers, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to Cambridge, where my novel is set. The Night Climbers were a group of young men and women who were students here, who, um, with no equipment, uh, in the dead of night, would climb up the buildings um, for personal pleasure and sometimes um, to make political statements. I heard about the night climbers uh, through a group of friends who were planning a midnight expedition of their own and they were using um, one of the original uh, guides uh, written by the night climbers to do it which detailed the routes up the buildings. I wanted to write this book uh, because I was fascinated by what it was that made people who'd worked so hard to get here um, and had such bright futures ahead of them, what it, what it was that made them risk um, so much in attempting to scale these buildings, um, you know, risk their reputations, their careers, and, and you know, death or serious injury. Uh, to create my characters, I had to understand uh, the motivation behind climbing these buildings. And one of the things that really interested me when I was researching it was how the desire to conquer the urban environment um, seems to arise in every generation. Uh, this is one of the key locations from the book. Um, this is where the characters get uh, cornered during a climactic scene and to escape they have to perform a jump which uh, the original night climbers viewed as one of the hardest and most dangerous in Cambridge. Uh, behind me on my right uh, you can see the Senate House. Behind me on my left you've got um, Keyes College and uh, the space between them is known as the Senate House Leap. And this is a six or seven foot uh, standing jump um, across a, a kind of 50 foot chasm uh, with the stones behind me at the bottom. I think uh, Cambridge the city becomes a character in the novel um, because obviously the, the, the physical uh, things that these, these people are scaling that become the kind of uh, you know, the symbols of, of uh, whatever issues they're, they're dealing with themselves um, are, are the buildings of Cambridge. And uh, because of Cambridge's unique architecture, um, there is this incredible wealth of handholds, gutters, and, uh, and different ways of scaling the buildings. So it's a book that, you know, the, the story itself couldn't have taken place anywhere else, really. And, um, and I hope that some of the Gothic atmosphere of the city infuses the novel.